I'm, I am not sophisticated. My palate is like, I either like it or don't like it, and I know what I'm used to because my parents used to give me when I had a cough, as maybe you all did. If you had par lucky parents like, like I did, grandpa's um, cough honey, medicine. honey, lemon, and uh, Stitzelweller bourbon whiskey made in the 50s or 60s. And, uh, and um, eventually they would take away the honey and the lemon, and you just had the bourbon left. Actually, my children, I think Louise is probably a victim of this. If they, Preston was born, and just to give you some history, uh, 18 months later, there were three identical triplet girls showed up um, at our doorstep. So there was four kids crying and not sleeping. So eventually I did away with the honey and the lemon and just straight 107 just proof <laughs> old rip. So anyway, but um, obviously just give it a great nose. Um, any, if you, at any whiskey tasting, um, you drink it at barrel proof or whatever, whatever they serve you, usually from the barrel if you do a barrel pick. And then you add some water to it because it opens it up. It hides the uh, alcohol, and you get more of the grain and the wood and so forth. So it's, uh, it's amazing how much it changes as you add a little water to each of these whiskeys. Um, uh, so that's why I have a little tiny ice cube in here. But basically just give it a smell. Give it a little roll around the tongue, the back, the sides. I know at some distilleries they tell you how to, how to put the whiskey into different parts of your mouth. I'm going, wow, that's overkill on this tasting thing. <laughs> but I'm very, very simple. And uh, just put it in your mouth and let it just drift and then just try and concentrate on what you're tasting. And it's amazing how, obviously, I'm used to this type of recipe, the weeded recipe, because that's that's what our family's produced for 100 years. But um, uh, that's kind of my, my story, and I'm sticking to it. Mm -hmm.